What's up YouTube, TMZ1313 here. I've got some cloud edge effect going on and uh, since it's a, such a cold day that uh, my solar panels are a little bit more um, uh, energy efficient there. Sorry about the shakiness, I'm trying to get this not to shake so much. But yeah, um, so I fixed my solar panels, they fell down the other day, bad windstorm. Um, look at that, 11, 11 amps, we're getting... We are getting 152 watts. Not bad at all. Um, so my my panels are definitely sitting in the right area here. Um, so I'll just let you guys watch just for a minute. See what I'm producing. Uh, it's uh, high noon right now. Um, I got these little bit of clouds going by. And after that it should be a clear sky the whole day. The rest of the day. Um... Again, 11.3, that's probably one of the highest I've seen besides 12 amps. Uh, let's see if we get any more here. So, if you didn't know, I have uh, 200 watt panels, so uh, 200 watts total. Um, and I got MPPT charge controller, so that's why you see I got 3.5 amps coming in. Um, 4 amps coming in, and then 10 amps going to the batteries. So doing not too bad there, not too shabby. Uh, I'd like to see what else we get, see if we get anything higher. And then I'll show you guys my panels, how I have them set up. I got them a little bit different now. <coughs> um, I really don't want to reach at 14.6 because then it's going to... Um, I just turned on this little heater, 400 watt heater, so it's basically taking all the juice away, as you can tell. I just want to try to see what I could get here, um, wattage wise. 13.5 amps, that's crazy. Oh, I missed the watts. Wow, that's, uh, that's crazy. I've never seen it at 13.5. So we got 151 watts. Yep. There's some of my breakers uh, messed up. This breaker right here, it's a cheap breaker. See, it keeps on cutting out. I need to fix that ASAP uh, before I destroy anything on there. 165 watts. All right, I'm going to turn this off before something breaks here. Um, I don't know what's going on. Actually, that's a 400 watts. Ah, uh, I, I can't do the math right now, but it's probably pushing that breaker to its limit. It's a 40 amp breaker. It's probably really close to uh, what that is. Um, anyways, yes, I do need a new breaker. That is a cheap breaker and it's not working good. Um, I need to get that fixed. So we're doing 144 watts right now. It's, I wish it would tell me what um, amperage to the batteries, but it doesn't. It just tells me the amps. That's coming in from the solar panels. Uh, but it's nice and sunny out there. It's in about 150 watts. That's not bad. It is a cold morning. Alright, so we're pushing about 10.3 amps. It's definitely, because um, it's cold weather, I'm getting a little bit uh, more energy efficient here. I would normally see about 9 amps, you know, during the hot summer. So I'm getting about one more amp or so um, during these uh, colder days. Uh, you win some, you lose some in the efficiency. But yeah, 9.7 amps, we're doing good. Um, I'd really like to see what those 13... Let's just sit here and see if we can get that again. Then I'll show you guys my solar panels. Uh, if you are new on my channel, thanks for subscribing. I got a few, uh, uh, about 10 or 20 new subscribers. So I, I would like to appreciate you subscribing. Check out all my other videos. I got a whole bunch. Um, I do have the setup. I'm going to do another, um, do another update or, uh, um, what you call it. I'm going to do something on this to show you guys, uh, 
basically this some more. So I, I think that's about as high as we're going to get, about 150. Um, I've seen 13.5 amps. Uh, that's probably the highest I've ever seen it before. So not bad. We're getting a steady 8.5, 8.1. Same 15 volts, but I doubt it's at that. Um, could be equalizing. Or it might be compensating for the cold, cold weather. Because um, it is saying that it is... Well, let's see here. 11 degrees Celsius, so about 40 degrees, I would say. So, yeah, let's uh, take a look up. Don't mind my messy garage. Let's take a look up on the... Um, up on top of the garage. So, here you go. I got a new... Almost similar, but as you can tell, there's like an A-frame, and that's a big difference um, that I think is going to help. Another, another thing that I did was put this wire. So I got wires going front and back, and it's going all the way to the wood, so it's kind of like, like extra support, but these aren't going anywhere. I will be very surprised if these fall. Um, I didn't do it the way I did last time, as you can tell. It's kind of different. I put it on the side instead of on top. You see that bolt or that uh, screw right there? I don't know if you can see it, but it actually snapped off. So instead of screwing it on top like this, I screwed it sideways, and that should help out. And these wires right here will definitely help out. Um, just extra, extra support, keeping it from falling over. Um, I think it'll do a good job. So yeah, thanks guys for uh, watching. Uh, check out all my other videos. And I'll see you guys later.